Well, let's get some analysis now on the situation in Libya with Hugh Miles, an author and a journalist who's a Libya specialist and who's worked as a consultant uh, for the UN on Libya. Thanks very much for being with us uh, on France 24. Um, first of all, what we're seeing uh, in Tripoli there with the, the huge blaze near the airport and ongoing battles between rival militias, I mean, take us through what they're fighting for, what the dividing lines are between them. Well, the tragic thing is that what they're fighting for is really personal gain and for power and for money and for really base, selfish reasons. Um, th this is not uh, a, a, um, a complicated political dispute. Like, uh, this is not Sunni versus Shia. Um, this is uh, really more like criminal gangs um, slugging it out for control of the state. Uh, and particularly of, of, of valuable assets like airports and ports. Now, it's nearly three years uh, since the fall of uh, Muammar Gaddafi. I mean, is the security situation the worst we've seen since then, in your view? Yes, I think it is. I mean, I, I've been optimistic about Libya really throughout, but I feel now that the country is facing its deepest challenge at the moment and does appear to be on the brink of, of civil war and becoming a failed state. In that case, I mean, what's the answer here? Does the international community need to intervene or, or indeed would that help this situation? Well, I, I certainly think that uh, no, there's no military solution and there's no soldiers required. I mean, Libya is already swimming in, in soldiers and, and weapons. Uh, you know, the Libyans need to strike a grand bog in themselves. They need to just agree not to fight. Um, so far, the uh, senior, many senior Libyans have managed to pull back the, the militias, the, the, the elders in Misrata and Zintan and these cities that control the powerful militias. The elders have managed generally to avoid a, a full-on confrontation, um, a real war situation between these um, armies, if you like, in, in Libya. Um, so, unfortunately, th this kind of um, resolution uh, mechanism it has now broken down in Libya, and they need, I think, uh, outside help. Uh, to uh, come to peace with one another. So I, mean, I think what the outside world could do is it would be nice if there was a, a United Nations-backed, Arab League-backed um, attempt at mediation, maybe with a figure like, for example, Lakdar Brahimi, who, who tried uh, and bravely and, and failed to, to make a peace deal in Syria. That's what the outside world can do. But there's no need for soldiers or any kind of military action. There's no military solution to this. And how costly could all this instability be for Libya long term? I mean, oil production is down. Uh, many countries are pulling their diplomatic staff out of Libya. I mean, this is, this is very serious, isn't it? It's, it's really very serious, yes. I mean, the, the economic in, impact is uh, going to be colossal. I mean, we've seen the planes all go up in smoke and, and you know, the knock-on effects are going to be enormous. It's going to be very difficult for foreigners to come in and out. The Tripoli airport was the main contact point. So, you know, the, the repercussions of this are going to be um, very expensive, very long-lasting and very negative. And it, it's um, it, it's very painful for, for Libya. It's very depressing and sad to see Libya going down this this route. Um, it's not uh, a failed state yet. Uh, it's not uh, like Iraq or Syria yet. Uh, you know, we, the number of people who have died are in the dozens, not not hundreds uh, or thousands really so far. So, and and don't forget that Libya did just hold a. Uh, successful enough election a month ago. Uh, so there is a political track that could provide salvation. But the problem is it's just moving too slowly and it's been the, the, the politics have been marginalised by what's been happening in uh, on the battlefield. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thanks, as ever, there for your thoughts. That's uh, Hugh Miles there, a Libya specialist.